underway puck drop. Stony Brook controls early. Able to kill it. Stony Brook looking to come out. They find the captain, Pepe. Here comes a four on one for Stony Brook into the zone, into the slot. Fire scores! The four on one converts. I can tell you for sure they don't practice that one in practice, but when it happens, you got to convert, and they sure did there. It was Philip Pomniak on the one timer in the low slot. Once again, Davenport failing to gain the offensive zone, turns into a four on one odd man rush. And it's Philip Pomniak giving Stony Brook the early 1-0 lead. McLaughlin down the wing. Behind the net, Kazakov plays it. McDermott able to fight it free. Chip it around the near side wall. McDermott into the slot. McLaughlin fires off the post, and he scores. Robert McLaughlin, a ripper from the left side slot, beats Kazakov glove side off the post. And just like that, Trevor, despite the dominance by Stony Brook, we're all tied up. Right to the point is Smoothie. Smoothie sends it right back into Duche. Duche behind the net. Into the slot and through the legs. Five hole and they score. It is McLaughlin again, his second of the night. And Davenport takes a two to one lead. Away there by Kazakov as well as. I, I believe Di Stefano is out there as well. Oh, it's Liebold into the slot, and it's again McLaughlin on the power play, his third of the game. It's a 3 1 lead, and Robert McLaughlin has got himself a hat trick. Cycles it down to Stepniak, I believe. Oh, it's Dempsey. Clavins finds McLaughlin, McLaughlin all alone, looking for his fourth of the night, goes back in, and he scores again. Rip off those Davenport letters and just put McLaughlin on the front because he is the team tonight. So Clavin, Zarelli banks it off, finds Mancini to the net, block it away by Rogers. Di Stefano down low, finds Mancini at the point again, looking for him to Stepney. Stepney's gonna hold, find Mancini, Mancini to the net, deflected, score! Devin Pepe, who's been taking a beating this game on the bad receiving end of some missed calls, finds his way to the slot, deflects one home, and with a minute and 15 left, the Stony Brook Seawolves have some life. Seconds left in this one, Mancini at the point, keeps it on side, four seconds behind the net, two and one, and the clock strikes zero as the Davenport Panthers come into the rings here on Hop Hog, Long Island, New York, and put a stinker on the Stony Brook Seawolves home opener. Four to two victory for the Panthers. Starting at center will be uh, Jesse Edwards taking up against Zach Curry. Edwards wins the draw and we are underway. It was Grease Trevor almost bit him there. Yeah, you gotta be a little more heads up there, especially when Stony Brook's on the prowl. Three on two now. Here comes Stonebrook right back on the offense. Pepe in front. Big save behind Gauthier. Loose, loose in front of the crease. Loose. They poke away at it, and it goes in. What an effort there from the Seawolves there. They keep grinding, and they keep pushing, and they finally put it in on their third or fourth opportunity in front of the net. I believe it was poked in by number 28, Nestepney. And just like yesterday, a quick goal by Stonybrook, and they're up 1-0. Yeah. Back to Nestepney, back door. Chips one in front, away from the swinging bat of Devin Pepe. Slapped in front, and it goes in! It's Mancini from the point, and it's 2-0 Seawolves. And that's how you draw it up in practice. You get the puck wheeled out to the point, take the shot, wind it up, and let it rip. And Mancini there, Texel keeps it on the ice, gets it right through the defense and right past the tender. Now Nestepney behind the net. Works it behind, far corner, to the point. Finds Brandon Pepe, trying to wind and fire, but he holds and finds Mancini. Mancini will throw it towards the net, kicked away, right to Nestepney in front, and they score! It ping pong back to the stick of Nestepney. He gets his second of the night, and it's 3-0 Seawolves. Davenport, no answers right now for the Stony Brook offense for their forecheck. This was the first period you saw from the Seawolves yesterday, but not able to maintain it. Into the slot, broken stick, rebound, bounces right out in front for Zachary Curry. And just like that, they have a response and we got a game. Sure do. And out comes Stony Brook. It's 
Nice shot saved there. Out in front, they score! Thrown in front, and Stony Brook's back on the board. I believe it was Liebel who threw it out in front. And Pomniak may have tipped it in. Nonetheless, it's a 4-1 Seawolves lead. Nobody there. Here comes McLaughlin. Out comes Dubnik. Dubnik with a quick three on two if they hurry. It's Clavins. Back to Dubnik. Dubnik fires one, and he scores. As now Peck picks it up, walking in one on three. Nobody in front as he sends it there. Puck off Turner's stick. Slevin throws it back in, and now Tolkien's got to pick it up again. Another failed clearing attempt for the Panthers. Up to Peck in the slot. Holds, fires, he scores! Mark with a battle in the corner. Eight seconds and counting. Five, four, and it looks like Stony Brook will take the second game of this weekend home series against the Davenport Panthers. Your Stony Brook Seawolves with a five to three, five to two win against the Panthers improved to three and one on the season. Two goals by Nestepny, a goal by Mancini, and Chucky Peck putting the icebreaker on the board with the fifth one of the night. Five to two, Seabrooks win, Seawolves win.